Day one, paddling out. Leave us up by him. Full kayak. Beautiful morning. First day out, we've just come 20 kilometers across from Kopayam to the mainland just south of Lamanau. Had a little break. Now we're paddling along remote Renong coastline, really empty. Nothing out here. Christmas morning 2013, Kora. Sunrise. Co raw. Empty. Unspoiled. Perhaps the last island on this coast. Kopatong. Paddling along Koko Kau. There's about 10 kilometers of absolutely untouched beach. I've been paddling along this beach for 35 minutes now. Seeing a fisherman, two of them actually, one motorcycle, of course, Mr. Ian Taylor. Other than that, it's just miles of empty beach. Spectacular. You wouldn't know it from the relative shelter of this bay, but it's been a blustery day five. Came down from Kokao, all the way down here to the secret jewel of Kaolak, Kaolak Lumru National Park. I'm gonna spend a beautiful night here and chill. South of Top Lamu, this is a turtle sanctuary, a national park north of Tai Muang. Endless beach. The beach at Tai Muang National Park. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a turtle sanctuary. So there's nothing this direction, which is north, for 10 kilometers or more. It's a windy day in Panga Bay. We're headed up to James Bond Island. We probably have four kilometers to get up there. Wind in our face. Probably running about 25 kilometers right now. White caps, squishy flashy. Famous James Bond Island. Millions of dollars of tourist money made here.
We're out in the middle of northeastern Panga Bay. Absolutely gorgeous. We're at the very tip of a limestone ridge that runs about eight kilometers, one kilometer wide, straight out into the bay, 400 feet plus high. One limestone rock chunk. And at the very end, a beautiful little beach to take a break. How perfect is that? And the eastern side of this massive granite point. We left Dao Nong yesterday, paddled out to what the locals call Poda Island, around Chicken Island just beyond, and then back to Poda where we camped for the night. Came across Krabi Bay today, 15 kilometers into a, quite a strong headwind. Now we're heading down to Siboya Island, find a spot on the west side, and watch a nice sunset tonight. Another great day in paddling paradise. Koklang, south of Kojum, north of Lantanoi, uninterrupted beach. We stopped at Kojum Seafood as we always do for an excellent seafood late breakfast, early lunch, and then paddled down. And we're on this little island just between uh, Kolantanoi to the south and Koklang to the north. It's just a small little spit. We stayed here last year. Beautiful white sand beach. It's actually pretty cool. Finally reeling in the headland here at La Meng. It's been a mighty crossing from Gugu Island. Strong headwind. Caps everywhere. Waves splashing all over the boat. Also going against the tide. So it's been quite a challenging pull across. So we're within striking distance now. Left Kobubu this morning at 7.45 and paddled across here to La Meng on the point on the mainland. 17.7 kilometers into an incredible headwind. At times, spin drift coming off the water. It took us a little over four hours to do the deal. But we're here now and all is well. This morning from La Meng. A lot calmer today than it was yesterday. Ian's been having a little problem with water. His boat was full, his sea sock was full. It was one hard pull yesterday across. Now we're running the coast. We're running past Haijiao National Park. But Koli Bong tomorrow. An easy day. A little bit overcast, which is nice for paddling. Beautiful. Paddling along Had Yao. We've been on it for uh, probably about four or five kilometers already. It goes all the way up to Pac Meng and down to Ban Chao Mai. Beautiful stretch of beach, all national park, nothing out here. Shallow water, so not a lot of boats coming in. Okay, we're coming out to flats here at the end of Libong. Bong. 
paddle down this side of the island really fast. Huge tidal flats here. Huge. With the eastern tip of Kolibong. We took the day off today, paddled around the island, about 30 kilometers, searching for the elusive dugong, which we were unable to find today. But we like the island so much and the diversity that we're going to actually stay tomorrow and go and explore the two large mangrove channels that bisect the island. We'll see what happens. Reporting back later. January 16th, pushing off from Kosokon. Ten kilometers up Klong Pi, massive mangrove estuary now turning more into a river type of a synopsis. Very cool. Navy boat. Seen better days. We've managed to connect Klong Pi with Klong Pakbara way up there and now we're heading down to Pakbara town. with the fishing fleet in Takbara. Nice meeting of mangrove, mountain and cliff here. Tide's falling, so there's a fairly strong current. It's connecting at the bottom end from Takbara back across with Klong Pi. Great day. Excellent circle trip.
wind is howling for the third day in a row. So we're doing another day trip here. Massive gusts coming through the hole between Khao Yai Island and Bulan Island. Must be blowing a good honest 35 out there. White caps flying about. of Khao Yai Island on the right, 40 meters, and mainland ahead, 2 kilometers or less, and a big trip flying off the tops of these little waves, it's really quite something. When we looked around the end of Kobulan, all we could see was an ocean of white water out there. So, here we are, wrapping up our last day. Mother Nature is throwing all the wind at us that she can. Right now, for the time being, we're winning the game, but only barely. <laughs> it's 